Hello and welcome to Tech Gainers. My name is Chandra and I am a Technology Explorer. So to continue with the Flowable series, this is the next episode where we are talking about the service task. And if you have seen the script task demo, I have talked about whether if you have a complex business logic, you should consider using the service task as you can do more thing here rather than using in the script task. Okay. So I will continue with this demo. So as always, we are in our flowable process modeler and we'll hit create process and we'll say service task demo. So with service task demo, uh, we are first asking, right? What is the department? Okay. And then we'll go to activities. We'll say service task. I link this service task to our uh, manual task where we are getting the department and identify the email right so again the very simple use case we are taking uh, to demonstrate what a uh, service task is so we'll provide the department and based on the department we'll identify which email we have to select so now after this we'll just uh, doing the same thing validate service task Okay, and then we will close this. Okay, now let's quickly see the validation results. Okay, so what it is saying is um, one of the attribute which is class or delegate expression, right? Which is mandatory on service task. We have added the service task, but we have not given the implementation. Okay, Th that's why it is complaining. Okay, so we'll put a hold on to this one and we'll go to our ID where I will show you how we can write the service task. I'm using IntelliJ here. You can use any of your choice. Okay. So this is my flowable engine project, which I'm using for running all my processes. So for simplicity, I'm showing you how we can add a delegate here, but in idle situation your delegates or any service logic that you are writing that should be uh, other than this project right the engine actually so basically you need to include uh, that service task implementation as a maven dependency or gradle dependency okay so we are just writing a java class we will say that uh, service class service task demo right and we'll say implements java delegate so you can see here right java delegate is class from the flowable engine okay and now you can see it is saying to implement the execute okay so we'll say yeah let's implement this execute now this execution is my whole workflow execution right so if you remember right in the script task we have talked about this that execution has all your variables uh, we are having in the workflow and in fact other things also so for example right we are saying execution dot set variables you can get the id event name parent parent id everything you can get it from here right so what we are doing is execution dot get variable okay so i am saying that give me the variable whose name is department okay and i will type cast it to department as a string now whatever we are returning from a variable right because at the runtime we don't know right what variable can have different types like you can have a boolean you can have a string you can have a double right so that's why it that our uh, execution returns you as an object, right? 
Now, when we are doing this, uh, writing this code, right, we need to make sure that whatever we are doing uh, in terms of uh, getting the variables from the execution, we know that, okay, what is the type of the uh, variable, okay? So, I'm just putting department. So, here I'm just putting if department uh, is sales, right, then <coughs> execution dot set variable I'm saying set the variable email as sales at email dot com else for all other execution dot set variable email and general at gmail dot com okay now uh, for the for the sake of uh, making you understand what this can do, right? So everything that is in written in the execute method, right? It can be your database call. You want to make a database call. You want to make a API call. Anything that you want to do, right? You can write in this piece of code and that will be executed by the flowable engine. Okay, so that gives you more power, right? In a script, you don't, you don't want to make a database connection right here you can easily make a database connection so everything that's why the suggested approach is always to use the service task <coughs> now we need to define it as a service class as well so we are saying that service task delegate okay now next thing right because it was asking right uh, what is the implementation class so all we need to do is take the package name right and let's go to the modeler here we will select the identify the email uh, which is my service task and here you can see the class right in the class i'll go and write this one dot the class name right and the class name is service task demo i'll just quickly copy this and okay that's it so now let's see validation result okay no errors so that means we are good we'll save it right save and close editor we'll import this let's copy this in our id we'll paste this okay okay the workflow we have added let's uh, start the server okay so uh, after adding the process xml right now we have started the server let's go to the browser and we'll see the definition okay again we are at our application here we'll go to repository and this we have the service task demo okay department identify the email validate service task let's try to initiate the process process initiated and we can see one process is there let's check the workflow image it is saying asking for department we'll add the variable here right department we are saying sales and variable now we have provided the variable here using this form let's mark it as complete task completed successfully again we will see here now the outstanding task is validated service task we can validate via the workflow image as well so <coughs> it is validated service task let's check the variables here right okay so you can see we have passed the department as sales and we got the sales at gmail.com as the email okay so this is validated now we can say okay complete the task so no uh, outstanding task okay the workflow is ended now let's see one more time <coughs> initiate process go inside workflow image let's provide department as education add variable 
complete task now let's view task it is validated services email now you can see it is general at gmail.com now we mark the task completed and view task okay zero so this how we can make use of our service task in flowable again here what we did is very simple right by adding a service task here give the service task implementation which is this class that we have written here here you can write any logic and you have access to the execution okay from this execution object you can get most of the items that you need basically whatever is running in your process you can get everything here right so any complex logic you want to write you can write here database calls you can make here any api call you can make here so everything can be handled from here okay so this is all for this demo and i'll see you again later thank you very much and always uh, put your comments in the youtube channel thank you very much